Hello, Fat Grandma here. If you have not been here before, my name is Paula. I have a very small eBay store. Um, if you are a frequent viewer, you know what's been going on. And uh, my sales, this is a sales video. These are my solds for the past two weeks. So from 421 through 55. I have had some sales over the past couple of days, but those will be saved for the next video. Um, I'm a beauty queen tonight because I wanted to get this video made. If I don't do it tonight, I'm not going to have time tomorrow, and I probably will not have time Thursday either, So, and maybe not even Friday. So I just I need to get it done tonight, so this is what you guys get. Um, anyway, uh, when I do my net at the end of the video, I need everyone to keep in mind that about 20% of these sales, I did not pay anything for the item because they came out of my mother's Christmas hoard. Um, <laughs> the stuff that she's been, you know, was in the past was using to decorate the yard for the different holidays. And I, I explained in a couple of videos, you know, in the past couple of videos that I've shared, um, you know, she was dumping things and, and she rented one of those dumpsters, had it in the driveway filled it and all of that stuff got hauled off to the landfill which just made me sick and I convinced her to let me go through and list things that are still in a box or that are still you know like new things or things that are still in a box that are in good condition you know yard blow-ups and that kind of stuff so and it's not just Christmas stuff there's gonna be other holidays I think um, we haven't even gotten to the second bedroom I'm only, I've only scratched the surface in the first bedroom. She, she threw out some, I can't even tell you how much stuff there is. Anyway, um, just keep that in mind when I give you my, my net and my average sales price per item. Everything's going to be higher than normal because I'm selling off her collection of stuff, you know. So these next few months while I'm selling her her stuff um, and I will let you guys know when most of it's gone so that things will probably get back to normal as far as my sales and stuff so anyway with all of that said um, I'm going to get into my solds again it's two weeks worth from the 24, 21st of April through the 5th of May and uh, I need to I need to close my email so that I don't get distracted because I will I have the attention span of a gnat, so I have to make myself stay focused. <laughs> What's that? Um, anyway, okay, so the first item I sold was a jester. It was a porcelain ceramic wall hanging thing that was a jester or like Mardi Gras head. It was really cool, and I, ha I have another one still, but it's different. And uh, anyway, I've had this thing listed for well over a year. And I kept reducing the price. It finally sold for $5.98. And they paid, let me see, I've got to expand this a little bit, $7.33 in shipping. So that is gone now. Person got a really good deal on it. Um, oh, all of these prices are, are sale prices. Everything that I sold, it, or I'm probably 90% of these sale, sold, 90% of these items were on sale when someone bought them. So they're sale prices or drastically reduced prices because it's my mom's stuff that I'm getting rid of. So these are not normal prices when it comes to, um, and I'll mention when I get to her stuff, if this was something from the house, you know, so you guys will know the, to the difference between my stuff and the stuff that I'm just like getting rid of quickly. So it's going to, be drastically cheaper than it would be if I had time, you know? Anyway, I need to stop talking and just go with this video so I can get it edited and posted tonight. Um, the second item was a hand-painted Portuguese pitcher. It was only six and a half inches tall and it was signed. I cannot remember where I got it, but I think I picked it up. It was either an auction or a thrift store. Anyway, and I think I paid $3 for it, 
sold it for $19.99, and it was only listed for not even two days, I don't think, maybe two or three at the most. Sold very quick. Um, it was very pretty, and uh, anyway, it sold for $19.99. This was not on sale, and they paid $8.16 in shipping. So that was a decent sale for $3 into $20, you know. Uh, the next item I sold, and I had these listed forever, were nine Remy Martin Champagne or Cognac Frosted 8-ounce Centaur drinking glasses. They were four and a half inches tall. I have had them listed for so long, and they finally got reduced down to $8.39. And uh, so that's what the person paid for them, and $12.56 in shipping. So those are gone. I might have more of them, though. I think... I don't know if I have more of them or if I have some others that are similar, but I I think I'm done picking up glasses unless I know for a fact they're going to do well because I have issues with stuff like that. Next item I sold was a vintage porcelain jester or clown doll. It was 10 inches tall. Um, it had really nice detail. It was very cute. I think I paid $3. I got a lot with two clown jester dolls in it and it was six dollars with tax and and seller fees and stuff in the lot so it was three dollars for this doll and i sold it for 12 and 607 in shipping so not too bad next item was a hand painted floral 16 count deviled egg plate um it was italian it said italy on the back it was ten and a half inches sold for $15 and shipping was $8.84. Have had it listed for a few months, but it hasn't been horrible, you know. Um, and I got a lot of other similar type pieces with it in an auction lot. So so that was a good that was a good sale. I probably paid a couple of dollars for that in the lot. The next item I sold, and I picked this up at Home Goods. I no it wasn't Home Goods. It was um I can't remember the name of the store. If I think of it, I'll put it up on the screen. Anyway, I think I paid $3 for it. It was a brass bee or a flying insect. It looked like a bee. Uh, it was about eight inches. I paid $3 for it again, and I, it sold for $15.99, and shipping was $10.21. Let's see. The next item was a vintage RWP Wilton coffee cup ceramic replacement insert or liner. I had no idea what this was. I was actually going to just donate it and I took the screenshot of it and then I looked at the maker name, started looking online to did some research and um, found out what it was. It's a, it's a cup that normally has a, an outer thing that has the, the handle, you know. Anyway, it sold for $9.99. And I think it was probably a dollar in the lot that I got it in. And shipping was $7.23. So not too bad for something I was just going to give away. The next item I sold was a salt and pepper shaker set, Disney, Pinocchio, and Dutch Girl. And it was from 2014. They paid $15.40 for the set and $7.23 in shipping. I've had these listed for quite a while, and I think I paid around $7 each for the salt and pepper shakers. I bought several of them in an auction a few months back, and um, maybe six months back. It was before Christmas, so close to that, and um, it's been taking a while. Some of the others sold. These were still hanging around. I think I've only got one or two sets left, so they're almost all gone. And the others did better price-wise, but $15.40, so I, I doubled my money, basically. So not horrible. Uh, let's see. The next item was the other Jester doll that I got in that lot, and it was a San Francisco Music Box Company. Um, the, the bottom of the shoes were worn, and so I reduced the price, plus it was on sale. I got an offer on it, and I went ahead and took it for $14, and shipping was $11. So, and again, I paid $3 for it, so 14 is not too bad. Uh, let's see, the next item was a set of two Better Homes and Gardens Jade Crackle cereal bowls. They were three inches, three inches deep by six inches square. They were unusual, and I picked these up at a thrift store, and I cannot remember what I paid for them, but they were cheap, and I sold the pair for $12.59, 
and they paid $8.84 in shipping. I think I paid a dollar a piece for these. I can't remember for sure, but not a lot. Uh, next item. Okay, now these are something that you can watch for, but you have to, it's a specific item. So they're Salvation Army figurines, and they're made by Goebel. Now, a lot of Goebel stuff was mass-produced, and there's tons of it out there. It doesn't sell very well. It's not worth a lot. There are some items, though, that do sell. Now, these figurines, the two that I got in an auction lot, were William Booth, who's one of the founders of Salvation Army, and the other figurine I got was his wife, Catherine. And those two figurines are hard to come by. Now, there are other figurines that look very similar to these that are made by Goebel. They go with the set or whatever, but there's a lot of those out there. And there are several listed, so they don't sell as well. I paid $7 for both of these figurines, and I sold them for $60. So they sold for $60, and that was on sale. And they, the person paid $10.21 in shipping. So that was a really good sale. Again, if you find William Booth, that figurine, and his wife, Catherine, those two will do well. I did very well on that sale. The next item I sold was a blue and white vase, wall pocket, vintage China, Seymour Man was the name of the maker. It was about seven inches tall. It's been listed for a while. Uh, Let's see, the buyer paid $9.79 and $9.52 in shipping. And the next item I sold, ugh, this book has been listed forever. It was in an auction lot, and I, I probably should have gotten rid of it a long time ago, but it was Mike Kunkel's Hero Bear and the Kid, The Inheritance Astonish Comics 2005. And it sold for a whopping $6.00. <laughs> And shipping was five eighty seven, but at least it finally sold. So that is out of here now. I don't have to worry about that anymore. The next item I sold, and this is something I got in a lot. Uh, it was a lot of pipe cleaning toolkit type stuff. And I split the lot once I got everything home because it made sense to do that. This was just a random collection of a clean ream and some other little cleaning tools. I paid $3 for these and they sold for $13.99. And then the other half of that lot will be coming up in a couple of items because I did sell the rest of the lot. And this stuff sold in less than a week from, you know, I, so I, I made my money back. I made a nice little profit and it wasn't a lot of work. So. Uh, the next item I sold was some were some chopstick rests. They were a vintage lot of six yellow and pink Lucky Carp Koi fish, and it was seven dollars and fifty cents. They paid they paid seven fifty and six eighty in shipping. These cost me a dollar fifty six for the six that they bought. I I purchased a whole bunch of these in a lot in an auction, and then I split them up once I got them home, and so. You know, I split all of that up, the cost and everything else. So that wasn't a bad sale, considering how little I paid for them. The next item I sold were three Jim Shore Hartwood Creek Seashells Coastal Resin Hanging Ornaments. They were UNESCO, but Jim Shore is really the name you want to look for. His stuff does pretty, pretty good. Um, and I've had a couple of other things that were Jim Shore, and they, they sell well. You just need to look and, and make sure that you're getting them for cheap enough and check the, the comps, you know. But so far for me anyway, if I see Jim Shore, I know it's going to sell and I know that it will do okay for me. So anyway, uh, $22 I sold these ornaments for and I believe I paid $3 for them, yeah. Paid $3 for them and they sold for $22.02 on sale. The buyer paid $8.84 in shipping. So that was a nice sale. Uh, let's see, here's the rest of the pipe stuff that I got. This was a um, Swiss cleaning tool set. It was in a little case, and it was very nice, but you could tell it was like from the 70s. Um, anyway, this was the other half of that, of that lot, so I paid $6 for this, and it sold for $20.99, and shipping was $7.23. 
So that was the whole lot of the pipe stuff. Um, let's see, the next item I sold, oh, I've had this thing forever. It's been way over a year, like a year and a half probably. Picked it up at an auction. It was part of a lot. I've had it listed for so long and I've just kept reducing the price. It was a 16 to 18 inch doll size uh, chase or a seti. Um, Blue plaid tender art collection was the name of the maker on it. Anyway, it sold for $17.46 and shipping was $16.88. And again, I have had that listed for a very, very long time. Comps looked good for it when I initially listed it, but it just took such a long time to sell. But it finally did. And it had watchers, too, for a long time. Um, you know, the number would go up and down on the number of watchers that it had, but finally went away. So uh, the next item I sold was a pair of Slater slip-resistant shoes. Goodyear engineered by Skechers. These were a men's size seven, so it's a very small men's size. They finally sold for $19.99. They were brand new. Um, sold for $19.99 and shipping was $8.16. These did not cost me anything. I used to do reviews for a popular retailer and um, I don't anymore, but you know, when I did the reviews, you couldn't sell the items that you got to review. But since I'm not doing it anymore, now I can sell the crap that I got from them to review. And I don't need these shoes, and they didn't fit me anyway. So they didn't have any women's in my size, which is why I got the men's size 7. They were really small. Um, anyway, again, they sold for $19.99 and $8.16 shipping. The next item I sold, and this was one of my mother's things, this didn't cost me anything, was a Rudolph Misfit Toys 18-inch elephant light-up yard decor open box. Uh, she never used this item. It was brand new. Sold for $16, and shipping was $7.54. Again, these things are, I marked everything at about half or less of what the retail price on eBay typically is because I want this stuff sold so that it doesn't end up in a dumpster. Um, anyway, so that was one of hers. The next item I sold was a Navajo Dine hand etched colorful red clay pottery pot. They, they were small. It sold for $10 and shipping was $6.45. And I paid $7 a piece for those in an auction and I should never have I won't do that again. They were too small. The Dine Pottery um, typically does okay, but I, I think it was the size on these. They were just too small, and not that many people were interested in them. So I sold the rest of them yesterday. They just got packaged up, but that'll be in my next sales video. So I'll talk about that when we get to it next time. The next item I sold was a Walnut Wood Oval Bowl Reticulated Leaf Pattern hand carved 10 by 7 inches. It was made in Asia. It was really pretty and I got it in a lot with a bunch of other wooden uh, carved wooden things, mostly bowls or plates. Anyway, it sold for $11.99 and shipping paid was $9.52. I only paid $2 for it, so $11.99 wasn't too bad. Uh, let's see. Okay, the next item is another thing from my mom's collection of stuff. Was a Rudolph Misfit Train Light Up Yard Decor open box again, but it was brand new, never used. And this was the train. The last thing was the elephant. Um, anyway, the train sold for $22.50, and the shipping paid was $14.08. The next item I sold, and this is something I found in the, be in the back bedroom in a drawer in a dresser that I remember when I was a teenager. Um, it was a vintage Smurf wrist watch style wall clock. The thing was huge. And uh, anyway, I, I tested it. I put batteries in it. It worked. Um, so it sold for $11.20 and $7.23 in shipping. Didn't cost me a dime. So this item I got in a lot of books. And I shouldn't have bought it, but I couldn't see the damage on this. This is the only reason I bought the lot, was this particular book. So at least I only paid $5 for the lot. It was a 1959 Spear Reloading Manual for Wildcat Cartridges, number four. 
it had so it had water damage, some kind of liquid damage um, on all of the pages. Some of the pages were stuck together. When I when I took all of the page, I went through the whole entire book and took each page and separated them. They didn't stick to the point where it tore anything or any of the text got messed up. Only one page did that, you know, or one, two pages. Basically, they were stuck together when I took them and, and peeled them apart. Some of the text got messed up. I made a note of that in the listing. And in the title, I put water damage, see photos in, you know, all caps. And it still sold for $18. This little... It, I don't know what the deal is with these books, but they do well. If you find one that's in good condition, this particular one, the 1959 number four book, there's a couple of other ones, or at least one other one that looks similar to it, but it doesn't sell as well. This one sells well, and if mine had been in better condition, it would have sold for around 30 at least. Um, but, you know, that's okay. Anyway, 18 and they paid 772 in shipping. The next item I sold, and I got these at a yard sale, and I did not know what I was doing, was six pounds worth. I just weighed all of the cards. They were Magic the Gathering cards. And um, I stopped at this yard sale, and I bought a bunch of lighthouses, which were a total waste of money, but at least they were only a dollar a piece. So I got those for super cheap, and I just lotted those together, and hopefully someone will buy them. Um, but these, these Magic the Gathering cards, the kid was moving and he was trying to, you know, he, when I say kid, he's in his 20s probably, you know. But he had a whole bunch of boxes of Magic the Gathering cards. I had, and the only reason I even knew what these were is because I watch Paige, One Foot Flipper, and he talks about this stuff, you know. And I thought, oh, I'll maybe get these. Well, I ended up paying, he, he sold me the the cards in two separate batches and you know we talked a little bit and I ended up paying $45 for all of them and I, then when I got home I was like what did I just do because I don't know squat about these cards I don't know which ones are worth anything I don't know if any of these are worth anything I had no idea what I had so what I did is I took photos and uh, you know I just told people look I don't know what's here I don't know what's not here <laughs> just these are the card sets that I, that I have, and don't ask me any questions because I don't know. And um, I put them up for auction. Now, I don't do auctions typically, but with this kind of item, I knew that an auction would get noticed with the Magic the Gathering. Anyway, there were people watching this thing. I had a lot of watchers, especially as the end of the auction got nearer. Um, there were over 30 people watching this auction, and... Someone had bid up to $53 because I started the bidding, I think, at 40 or 40 I think I started it at 40 because I just wanted to make my money back because, again, I had no idea what I had. Anyway, I checked it after the auction was over because I wasn't even paying attention. And these cards sold for $117 <laughs> so and $14.70 in shipping. So I paid $45, but they sold for $117. And I sold them, again, I listed them the day I got them home, or the next day. So they were listed for a week, but they were on auction. So that's the only reason. I think they would have sold sooner. I had no idea what to sell them for, so I just let the people decide. You know, maybe they could have sold for more. I don't care. I doubled my money. I more than doubled my money. And, um, you know, I'm super happy with that. So I can't. I can't advise you on selling Magic the Gathering cards because, I, again, I don't know what I had. But apparently, whatever was there, someone was interested enough to spend a lot of money on them. Next item I sold, the next two items were from my mom's stuff again. So I didn't pay anything for these. They were um, Bumble Light Up Yard Decor. Uh, again, it was the Rudolph stuff, the Misfit Toys. It was Bumble, and I sold each. I sold two of them, but to different people. Uh, they sold for fourteen forty and nine fifty two in shipping. And then the next item I sold was another one of those, sold for fourteen forty and nine fifty two in shipping. Uh, let's see, we're almost done. Uh, the next item I sold was an Iris Dragonfly Tea Light Tart Wax Melt Burner. It's five and a half inches tall. It was Blue Sky Heather Goldmine from 
from 2000, so it was vintage. Sold for $10.79 and $8.15 in shipping, and I believe I paid $2 for that. So $10.79 wasn't too horrible. Uh, the next item was another item from my mom's stuff. I don't know what else to call it. <laughs> Disaster zone. <laughs> Um, was a Finding Dory octopus. It was Hank, and he's holding Dory in like a little fish tank or whatever. Um, Jemmy Christmas inflatable. This thing sells for a lot. Anyway, I listed it, marked it way down, and it sold in less than four days for fifty dollars. And shipping was seventeen thirty nine. This thing is heavy, 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 heavy. Um, the last item was a Disneyland Trader Sam's Tiki Bar 2017 mug. And I talked about this in my last video. I just picked this up at a yard sale this past weekend and I paid $3 for it. Didn't know what it was. There was a, ch a sticker on the bottom so I didn't see the Disney and, and what the name of it was. And um, when I got it home, I did the Google Lens thing, and I was like, wait a minute, it's a Disney thing? So then I took the sticker off of the bottom of it that said China, and all of the, all the text was there. You know, I'll share pictures up here of what it looked like and then what the bottom of it looked like after I took the sticker off. Anyway, again, $45. I thought I sold it for $60. I listed it for $60. And then I had it on sale, so it ended up being $45, so... Still, really nice profit, you know, um, $3, and I sold it for $45. I, I wish I could find all kinds of things like that. <laughs> These, I, it happened to me a couple times in this, in this past two weeks where I didn't spend a ton of money and made a decent profit on things. So, you know, that's that part of, you know, like the Salvation Army figurines and this and a couple of other things, you know, and then I've had... And it's, this is all very good for me because I'm trying to save money for my move in November. So, you know, slowly making our way there. Anyway, my uh, net profit or my net um, after my cost of goods and supplies and all of that for the past two weeks was around $450. And that is more than that's double what I would normally do in two weeks. But again, you guys have to keep this in mind. If you're new to me, just remember this is that all of my net was only that high because I didn't pay anything for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these items. Seven of the items that I sold, you know, there was no cost of goods. So, and they were decent sales, you know, so that's why my net was so high. Plus, I had a couple of good good deals, you know, where I didn't pay a lot for things and I sold them for a decent amount. So, anyway, my average sales price per item was $20.91, which is the highest I've ever had. Again, I had a couple of really good deals in here and I had some items that I, you know, I, I did well on. So... Um, the past two weeks have been very good. I'm hoping that I can keep this up for a while. Um, the net of 450 is is very nice. I'm hoping that the momentum of this uh, selling my mom's stuff can continue. You know, um, and I'm starting tomorrow after I get done with my post office run and um, all of the other errands that I have to run. Uh, I want to dig into listing the Hot Wheels. So I did, I spent all day yesterday, basically all day, at least six hours, going through all of the Hot Wheels and sorting them so that collections are together and single cars that don't match anything else are all in a box. And um, unfortunately, there were no red lines at all. There were none of the special ones that um, Helo's World, Chris, told me to look out for something. I can't remember the name of it right now. A specific type of Hot Wheels. I'll put it up here, that, what they're called. Anyway, there's none of those in all of these Hot Wheels. So I don't think that there's going to be any gold in there. But um, some of the collections are complete. Not very many. I don't know what she was doing. I don't know why she was buying these Hot Wheels. 
I don't know what the thought process was behind it. She, she would get on these kicks where she would buy certain things and a whole collections of them. And um, I don't know. I don't know what the, <laughs> why, <laughs> but um, I, there's nothing there that's really worth a lot. So I'm um, going to put them in bundles and the small collections that she did complete I'm going to sell as a complete collection and you know I'll just list them and and hope they sell before I move so um, so that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow after I get done running all my errands and then uh, Thursday I have to go to the um, donation place with all of the stuff that I'm getting rid of out of that room because some of the stuff is not in good enough condition to sell on eBay, but it's still usable and someone can get it for super cheap at the thrift store, you know, and I go to Deseret Industries to donate stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing Thursday and there's quite a bit of stuff that has to go. So anyway, that's it for my solds video. Um, I hope you guys, what is today? I think today's Wednesday. Oh, it's Tuesday. I can't even keep track. No, tomorrow's Wednesday. I go to the post office on Wednesday. My brain's tired. Anyway, um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and hopefully I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I will talk to you later. Bye.